Welcome to A Fables A Day, in which the archivist reviews an issue of Fables A Day up till the final issue, where he will undoubtedly cry like a baby. And there is no restraint on spoilers, so if that's a problem for you, well then go read the series and then come back. On with the show! Fables number 16, Duels, part 3 of Storybook Love, in which Bigby confesses it all and a prince rises to nobility. So Bigby does exactly what Snow White asks. He tells her all about how no matter what, he cannot get rid of her scent, everything pertaining to it, which Snow regrets asking about. Then there's the matter of Prince Charming challenging Bluebeard to a duel, though Bluebeard has no idea why. Charming gives a very noble answer, saying that killing Bluebeard will be a favor for all the crap he's put Snow through over the centuries, and he does know that Bluebeard is planning on killing Bigby, someone Snow cares very deeply about. Back with Bigby and Snow, they finally know that it's Goldilocks who's trying to kill him, but instead of wanting to get away for the next time, Bigby is going to try ending it. How? With a trick he pulled from his father's bag of tricks, the good old huff and puff shtick. He finds a good safe hiding spot for Snow before the show starts. Bluebeard and Prince Charming are having their epic duel, to which Charming also reveals that he's going to have all of Bluebeard's gold in the end. After all, the noble impulses only go so far. Bigby huffs and puffs and blows half the forest away, with Goldilocks being caught up in the middle of it. Yet, Bigby knows he didn't kill her. It does, however, give her a clear path to get to him, and the local winds now listen to him, so they'll always be blowing Goldilocks' scent upwind to him at all times. Prince Charming finally slays Bluebeard, though his last breath is to tell Charming that he's, that he's already killed Bigby and Snow. Yet, that may not be as true, as Goldilocks finally comes face to face with the big bad wolf. So yeah, like I said last time, Prince Charming is just full of surprises, even if his ends do eventually just to line his pockets. With Bluebeard gone, Prince Charming can now be the richest man around, as well as shifting the whole of Fabletown politics upside down. As for Bigby, this is the first time we get to see where the whole huffing and puffing comes in, because his father is the- no, 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 no future spoilers there. We'll come back to who his father is later on, but we do know that he's a blowhard. Ha. So come back tomorrow for Goldilocks vs. the Big Bad Wolf.